welcome. My name is San and my goal is to bring useful information to you so you can have the best health outcomes possible. So let's get started. going to go into radiation therapy, understanding radiation therapy and how to prepare for it. All right, so let's get started. What happens in radiation therapy? So radiation therapy is a type of treatment that is given for addressing cancer. So in this high dose radiation is being given to that specific organ of the body to kill the cancer. So there are different types of radiation therapy. There is external radiation therapy, which means that it's given externally to a certain part of your body and internal radiation therapy. That means it's being placed inside the body in that particular organ. And there's also radioisotope therapy. So whether it's right for you or not, that's something you'd want to discuss with your provider, with your medical team on whether radiation therapy is going to be the right treatment for you. Usually, so let's talk about uh, who are the people who are involved when it comes to radiation therapy. If you're getting radiation therapy, there'll be a whole team that is taking care of you uh, and you might be meeting with these individuals at different times. So there would be a radiation oncologist or a cancer specialist uh, who is trained in radiation. You would also have radiation oncology nurses, someone like me, who is taking care of you and administering that treatment and managing your side effects. There can be a radiation physicist. There is a dosimetrist. Um, there is a technologist who is actually giving you the treatment. There are social workers who are involved in this process. There are nutritionists who are involved in case your radiation therapy affects your um, ability to eat or drink in any way. And rehab therapist if it affects any activities where rehab is required, like speech therapy or um, movement of the body. Okay, so you will want to figure out what kind of radiation you're getting and who are the people who would be able to help you and you'll want to get their information and to get your, uh, get your team <laughs> in order and know who is on your team so that um, you can take advantage of their guidance and support in this process. All right, so now what are the side effects of radiation therapy? So of course, based on where you're getting the radiation, you're going to have specific side effects associated with that radiation. Uh, but in general, let me touch on some of those. So if the radiation therapy is for brain cancer or chest or head or neck cancer, then of course it's going to affect those organs. In the case of head and neck, it can affect over time ability to eat or drink. So you may be given uh, hydration, external hydration to keep make sure you have enough fluids in your body. Because of radiation, you may have fatigue, hair loss, skin changes, uh, headache, shortness of breath, those can happen. If you're getting radiation therapy in the stomach or abdomen, rectum area or pelvis area, then obviously you can understand that you know there will be impact in those particular organs. So things related to the GI tract, to your you know intestine, to your digestive tract. So diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, um, constipation, or things related to your digestion, uh, taste changes, those kind of things. If the radiation is given externally, then it can have impact on the skin. So skin changes or skin burns can happen. So in that case, very important to keep note of that and address those. Also, uh, depending on if it is in the rectum or pelvic area, it could have on our reproductive organs. So those are the side effects to keep in mind. So again, radiation side effects, because it is local, in the treatment that's given, the side effects tend to be typically local as well in that particular area instead of your whole body. 
uh, cost of the treatment. This is something you'll want to find out uh, what is covered by your insurance, how much is the cost of the treatment and what is your responsibility in that cost and are there any support systems available for managing that cost, uh, whether it's the cost of the treatment or it's the cost of transportation or lodging or for your caregiver to be with you during those treatments. So, so cost is an important factor. So hopefully this gives you a sense of what to expect with your radiation therapy treatment, why you are being given the treatment, what kind of treatment, how often um, those kind of things, uh, who would be on your team, what kind of things you need to think about, what is the checklist of questions you want to think about, and then how do you address them. Those are things you'll want to think about while you're going through it. And once you're done with the treatment, then how do you reintegrate back into your life and take care of yourself? Um, so hopefully this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, uh, drop us a line. Uh, we are happy to support you. And um, I look forward to seeing you and wish you the very best uh, on your cancer treatment journey. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. If you would like to know about more content along these lines, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So you'll be informed when we create more. Uh, if you like this video or you have some thoughts to share, then please comment and hit the like button. And you can always reach us on our platform and the different sites which I've put in the description below. Thank you and my best wishes to you on your healthcare journey.